Well, we have been talking about SPACs and the boom that we have seen in that investment vehicle and the fact that we have seen them come in really all kinds of shapes and sizes and led by all kinds of different investors at this point. Let's talk about one that is working on becoming the first public benefit corporation and what that means. Nicole Neiman Brady is joining us now. She is CEO of Sustainable Acquisition Development Corp., also known as SDAC. Nicole, thank you so much for being here. So public benefit corporation, for those who are not available with it or uh, familiar with it, excuse me, um, or getting a B Corp certification, it essentially means from a legal perspective that you can put the interests of broader stakeholders, the community, the environment, et cetera, ahead of shareholders in the corporation without legal liability. Why did you decide to structure it that way? It's still relatively rare in particularly American corporations. Yeah, no, to be clear, it's balancing the profit with the purpose. So a public benefit corporation is uh, a focus on the the public as a great greater good, but uh, really the a B Corps is, you know, the preeminent uh, independent certification and validation that a company is adhering and, and delivering on and rigorous environmental and social and accountability and, and transparency standards. And frankly, uh, that is how we should want all companies to really be if we're going to have a sustainable future. These measures we found from our track record at Renewable Resources Group and Capricorn Investment Group that you can have uh, this kind of focus and still uh, achieve uh, market leading returns. And as you mentioned, your background is in renewable energy. We see your uh, wind turbine uh, there, the little model behind you. Is that the kind of target that you're looking for here? I know that you have sort of a broader mandate of the kinds of targets you're potentially looking at, but are you sort of gravitating towards renewable since that is your background? Actually, our background is in uh, all the areas that our, our uh, SPAC focuses on, on, on water, food and agriculture, and renewable energy. And, you know, there's been a lot of SPACs that have come out in the renewable energy sector, and frankly, there's a lot of focus in that space. Um, but we're targeting a little bit of a di different angle. Um, our SPAC is focused on mission-driven companies that are in those sectors, but are also addressing the UN Sustainable Development Goals which is a nearly $12 trillion opportunity. And it's focusing on companies that are disrupting the status quo, uh, which really uh, results from thinking about how climate change is impacting everything that we do. And uh, we need to be more efficient with what we have. So um, our focus is really on subsectors that think about how we're going to live and how we're going to survive in a much more sustainable future with what we have. And so are you focused on companies that already would have the public benefit certification or um, you're open to other companies that you can then sort of shepherd through that process? Yeah, no, that's exactly right, the latter. So we're going to be looking at um, a, a broad range of companies, but ideally the company either is already a B Corp or we can set them on their path to be one because really th uh, that is an important facet for any company going forward. And so uh, we hope to, to implement that kind of change. Um, given our track records as two impact focus for firms for nearly 15 years, it, uh, both being B Corps and having worked through companies through this process, uh, we really feel that it's beneficial both for the, the public and the employees, but also for our returns. And so you've obviously aware of the sort of broader conversation around SPACs. We were having a conversation to that effect earlier. What are you finding in terms of valuations with this becoming an already crowded, it feels like, and increasingly so crowded a field in terms of SPACs competing for different assets? I can't really speculate on other company valuations because I don't know the specifics of those, uh, but I can appreciate the concern and our track records as firms uh, focus on real value and how we can achieve growth. And, you know, the conversation earlier really did talk about the fact that there are these uh, these companies are coming forth with these um, incredible growth trajectories. Well, we have the operational and investment expertise to really demonstrate and, and figure out which ones are really publicity and which one actually have fundamentals that can uh, can achieve those goals. So we feel yeah, uh, well positioned to, to figure that out. Yeah, I was just going to say that's something definitely that we have 
sort of grappled with when we are talking to many of these companies, because as you know, when you come public as a SPAC, your acquisition, in other words, you know, you can have forward projections and it's difficult to know if those forward projections are going to be realized. So from an investor perspective, um, meaning a stock investor perspective, what kind of questions do you think people should be asking in order to sort of get to that? Yeah, a, a lot of it is around diligence. I think that was a, a big conversation that um, occurred earlier as well in, in your segment um, on how we need to focus on, um, uh, you know, on really understanding the businesses that are underlying it. You know, the f- sectors that we focus in, we really do know it. Uh, we have team, a global team uh, with that includes hydrologists and agronomists, so we can really get down. Uh, into the technical details and understand things. And I think that's a a critical component of knowing whether a company really is just hype um, or if there's something underlying there. Well, Nicole, thank you for being here. Stay in touch so we can talk about it when you do find a target. Nicole Neiman Brady is CEO of SDAC, the Sustainable Acquisition Development Corporation. Appreciate your time today.